Welcome to our last broadcast of the semester. I'm Marissa Trahill. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Miss Betsy has some great food on the menu this week. Let's check in with her first to find out what's on the lunch menu for the rest of the week. Happy Wednesday, everybody. What's for lunch today? Oh, uh, well, Wednesday we're having macaroni and cheese. Ooh, I know that's one of your faves. And tomorrow we'll have barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Thanks, and come on down. Bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. The semester is almost over, and if you have outstanding lunch charges, please pay those off before the semester ends. Add money to your account in person or online. Where's the form? You know what form. You know what forms. Those blue federal impact aid forms that were due in October. Get your form signed and return to the attendance office. Come on, man! The library will be closed on Friday, December 15th for a mandatory NHS meeting. We've been warning you. Yearbook prices went up on Monday to $65. Order your yearbook in the business office or go online to reserve your memories. Juniors and seniors, for those of you planning to attend college visits in 2018, pencil in Lamar Community College on February 18th. Remember to get a pass from the Counseling Center to attend this visit. Seniors graduated in December. Congratulations. See Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more important graduation information. If you weren't able to order your class rings or cap and gown on Friday, you can do it online at www.yourgrad.com. The deadline for cap and gown orders and class rings is next week on December 21st. And seniors, class shirts are selling out quickly. Buy your shirt soon before they run out of your size. Get them in the front lobby at lunch for $15. The Counseling Center and Business Office would like to remind everyone, especially seniors, to check Infinite Campus for fees you may owe for books, uniforms, or class fees. The business office can print an invoice of your charges so you can pay them and get your diploma or grades on time. When we come back, we'll have a list of some fundraisers happening this week. But first, we're throwing it to Jared Grace for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Wednesday morning, lads, and I'm Jared Grace with our last Gladiator Sports update of the semester. We are closing in on winter break, but our team still have many games and matches before any celebrations have. The forensics team will be traveling to St. Mary's for the next Congress tournament on January 18th. We will have results when we return from winter break. In basketball news, our Lady Glads took the home court against Cheyenne Mountain last night and handed the Indians a nice loss. Our men's basketball team also played Cheyenne Mountain last night and handed the Indians a healthy loss. Our Glads take on Pueblo Central at home on Thursday. Thursday, December 14th at 7 p.m. And remember, all our basketball teams are on the road next week against the Elizabeth Cardinals on Thursday, December 21st. Athletes should be making arrangements to take the sixth hour finals with teachers. Please remember to do that. Our wrestlers will be very busy these two weeks. Tonight, they host the Lewis Palmer Rangers at 6 p.m. in the small gym. On Thursday, they travel to Mitchell for a match. And then next week on Wednesday, December 20th, they are home against Vista Ridge at 6 p.m. The ladies' swim team is on the road against Pueblo on Friday, December 15th at 5 p.m. Then on Monday, December 18th, they host the Pirates from St. Mary's at 4 p.m. Good luck to all our sports teams this week and next. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Jerry Grace. Now back to you, Marissa and Daniel. Thanks, Jared. The 180 Club continues collecting canned goods and non-perishable food for the WHS Christmas baskets. They will take items that can make up a holiday meal, but also meals over the break. They will also take cash money. The 180 Club gave out 30 baskets last year to WHS families, but we can do better this year. Bring your donations to teachers in the math department. Donations will be collected until December 20th. Please help. Thanks to everyone who has brought in toys and gift cards for the WSD3 toy drive. The gifts are stacking up in the front lobby. You can still bring in unwrapped new or generally used toys or gift cards for older students. All gifts will be distributed to families in the WSD3 area. Deliver the toys to the tree in the front lobby and gift cards to Miss Price in the main office. If you cannot bring in a toy or gift card, no worries. This Friday is Pajama Day. Buy a band for a dollar on Thursday and Friday morning at the library door in the main hall for a dollar to participate. All the money raised for Pajama Day will go to the toy drive. Do you have overdue books in your locker, car, backpack, or under your bed? 
If so, the library would like them back. Dig out those books, return them, and pay your fines before the end of the semester. Books not returned and fines not paid will result in fees assessed to your school account. The last day to return books is December 19th. Final exams start next week and NHS has one more tutoring session this Thursday during advisory. Sign up tomorrow morning in the library, then let these really smart students help you out. The library is only available for computer use and tutoring on Thursdays. Hey freshmen, the Link Crew Coco and Cram session is this Monday, December 18th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Bring your study guides and books and join Link Crew leaders in the science hallway. They will help you study and feed you cookies and hot cocoa. You're sure to be more successful on your finals with this kind of support. See you there. Make the Gretchen Wieners or Glenn Cocos of your life happy by sending them candy grams. Sophomore Council is selling candy grams today before school, at lunch, and after school in the main lobby. The cost is a dollar and they will be delivered on Friday. Student Cabinet has begun their Pennies for Puppies campaign to raise funds for abused domestic animals and strays. The first event is a movie night this Friday. Come watch the Polar Express in the small gym at 7 p.m. The movie is free, but snacks will be available for a small fee. All snack proceeds will go to the puppies. Glad you have two more opportunities to catch some of the best music for the holiday season. Winterfest 2 is tonight at 7 p.m. and Winterfest 3 is on Monday, December 18th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. If adults buy two nights, the cost is only $8. Come listen to our performing arts students play your holiday faves. Step students, all paperwork is due to Miss Grace to her in room 131 or her box in the business office by Friday, December 15th. And finally, if you were interested in the teacher cadet course for next year, please see Miss Ship in room 202. She has all the answers to your questions and the important application to get started for next year. And now here's a little holiday cheer to make your day. Enjoy. Amigos, you know that cheer and dancer and prancer and vixen, comet and cupid and donner and blitzen. Pero do you recall the most famous garbag of all? Chico the big tough chihuahua had a very scary bark. One day as he was playing, he saw Santa at the park. All of the other dogs used to run away and hide. They always feared Big Chico, and that's why they always cried. Then that very special day, Santa came to say, Chico, with your bark I plea, please won't you protect me. Chico said yes to Santa, and his mommy let him go. Pero the deer with the red nose got mad that Chico stole the show. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Feliz Navidad! That's all our news today. Have a great rest of the week and good luck on your final exams. I'm Rusty Trahill. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. See you next semester.